What's up guys? Uh, this is Travis. Welcome to your 14th tutorial. Again, thanks for watching and subscribing. Give me those thumbs up. Appreciate it. Uh, today we're basically going to do kind of a review again over uh, the on-click listener and we're going to also going to introduce you to the set text and get text methods. Um, basically we're going to get our tutorial one starting to do something. So I want you to open that up and basically what we want to do is first we want to set some variables that we can use within all of our other methods and classes within our uh, main class or tutorial one so we want to set up a text view and we're gonna call this uh, let's see text view that'd be uh, output we'll say like text output text out yeah I can't speak today either again it won't recognize it so we gotta import text view and we're also going to import uh, edit text and we're going to call this uh, get input again you can label these whatever import the edit text and then we're going to go into our on create method here and we need to set up these variables because right now they don't do anything so we're going to say edit text or edit out equals again it's a text view and we find by ID, find a view by ID. And this is going to be our text out. Basically, that uh, the only text on the screen that we had a that we had a ID reference to. So it's going to be a text view get input. I don't know why I labeled it that earlier, but we're going to roll with that. And then we also want to set up our get input. So we're going to say get input equals, and this is the edit view. Kind of basic stuff. Or edit text, I'm sorry. Whoa. This is the edit text, correction, my bad. And we're going to view by ID, r.id. And then we gotta look for our edit text one and it's input, ET input. It's fine and dandy. Uh, next we want to set up a button. And this will be our OK button that we set up. Gotta import the button. And now we gotta find it. It's a button dot okay be okay be okay everything will be all right now basically these won't do anything it's just uh, setting up what what they are actually so now we want our okay button to do something so we're gonna just hit okay dot and then we're gonna set the on click listener like we've done before and again inside here we're just gonna say new view dot on click listener and it'll set up our on click view method down here again we just want to end off the statement and we want our button to do whatever is within our on click method right here so basically what we want to do is we want to set this text to whatever the user puts in the edit text so we're going to say text out referring to this text view that we set up and we're going to say set text and basically how do we set the text whatever is in these parentheses so for example you could say I want to have Travis's babies and basically every time they'd push the button this this uh, saying would come out and replace whatever our text out was, which we identified as the get TV get input. But we don't want to do that, even though probably everyone does want to have my babies. But we want to say we want to get the input, which is the edit text. So we're going to say get input. This is what we labeled it as. It's not like any sort of method hit a dot and use a method on the get input 
and we want to say get I probably should not label that as get input because it might be kind of confusing basically this is going to pull up our edit view and we want it to do this method which is get text and basically this method is going to get the text from our edit view right here and what is that edit view whatever the user inputs on the edit view and then it's going to set this text to whatever the user put in the edit view box so basically now we can uh, just save it and I'm just going to run it real quick basically now we can type something into the edit text box up here and when we hit OK it's going to change this text view to whatever we typed so I'm just going to type test and hit OK and it changes our text alright that's basically the end of this tutorial I know it wasn't that awesome or sweet but hopefully someone found it sweet out there and it helped you out a little bit but thanks again and see you next tutorial where we'll make these radio buttons actually move this text to the left and bold center italics what however we choose that setup so see you guys peace